Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back to Rim World. Welcome to my colony. And as you can see, it has just grown uh, by one more colonist. So this is a mechanic that I didn't know how it worked just yet, but it looks like there are simply wanderers that will come across your colony and then join it. That seems to be how your colony is going to grow. And interestingly enough, um, it's, a, it's a man called Sparks. He's a, a barkeeper. So he could maybe be good for my food problems because I'm, I'm definitely starting to uh, get to low food and struggling with that. So I'm hoping that the potato production will be able to get us like some reserves and things like that. Um, but his character is pretty damn unique. He's very neurotic. He's a nudist and then he's cold tolerant. Um, so in his childhood, he was a medical assistant and in adulthood, he became a bartender. He's incapable of firefighting so there you go colonist number four just arrived uh, night is falling uh, what else did change i also put um, the battery in the room because i read if you go here uh, power then for battery stores electricity when there is excess power and yields it when there is not warning charge batteries tend to explode when heated or wet so i put that one in its own little uh, storage room uh, just to uh, make sure that it is safe. So these guys are still mining a little bit. Uh, there is a bed for sparks. Let's see. A roof has collapsed because it was too far from any supports. Okay. Let's hope that my guys can uh, rebuild it. Can I also see where? I, I doubt it's here. So I don't really know how to check for that. But we'll see. Low food. One colonist is idle. Yes, Sparks is not doing anything. Um, so that is interesting. I um, guess I'm going to have to... A 5x5 five five seems to be just too big. I suspect that it's going to be that. Or maybe here. No. That definitely has support closer by. Um, so an extra bed seems to have attracted colonists. That's my theory. Let's check that out by creating um, another bed here. We'll see if uh, if that works or if it doesn't work. And oh, Sparks is actually going to build that. Very nice. What I'm planning to do after that is, I guess, to grow more food here. But this time to go with solar power. So what are we going to also build here is a place for a few more batteries. Um, so we'll do that, I would suspect, here. Maybe we'll go for a 5x4. Like that like that then we'll put a door here and then we'll go for power ah damn it mm, that's maybe not perfect so we can still cancel this cancel that we'll build uh, the door here close it this way and then batteries where are you guys batteries oh that was not the idea can i just cancel that power batteries one and two and then we're gonna try to connect that to some solar power then we're gonna try to put a lamp pretty centrally here and uh, see if we can get that stuff to work but first let's let's have a make this extra bed has been made and uh, i'm sure that these guys are going to go to sleep pretty soon while sparks is eating more food than he's producing that is not good at least this is now at 79 percent so that's somewhat good and uh, donaldson finishing a little bit more work before going to sleep so there you go sparks chose the new bed everyone is to sleep and uh, as sonic destroyer is playing some democracy tree we can speed things up a little bit uh, and iguana is sleeping here and here's our monkey all right, plants still growing. So I'm hoping that this will actually fix our food problems. Otherwise, we could be in some real trouble. Sparks is up early and he goes straight to work. So that is pretty good. My reserves should be decent. In the meantime, um, we can just click on these so that they will be brought to the stockpile. Is there anything else? Doesn't look like it. All right, just... Um, get going oops sparks actually warming up a little bit yeah being a nudist is not the best <laughs> the best choice i think if you're uh, if you're joining a colony that is uh, just getting started so he's probably 
trying to heat up a little bit by the fire. And here we've got a crafting spot. Hmm. Bills. Let's see. Select next in the same square. Okay, I'm not sure how that works just yet, but uh, we'll have to figure all of that out later on. Let's first, I want to get a couple solar panels hooked up to these batteries. And then um, I want to see if I can get more food production going over there. Hopefully it'll work out. Uh, these guys are not doing a lot. Doesn't have enough power. So, okay. I thought wind turbines would be just basically constant. Doesn't seem to be the case. Power output is very low at the moment. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. So, hopefully this is still growing... Nope, nothing. All right, bad news, bad news. That plan is not working out the way I want it to. All right, the lights are back on, that's good. And you guys just get to work, finish this stuff. And then we'll try some more and better food production here with solar panels. Let's hope it works out. Uh, of course, if it's a cloudy day, right now it's still clear, but if it's a cloudy day, we'll be in more trouble. And Donaldson finally awake as well. Now, all the food looks like it's all gone. So these guys will start to go hungry. This is at 80% though. There's the door, roof's going up. Yep, Spark's bringing some material to the batteries that they need, so that's okay. And is there anything else left here uh, from the spaceship? Nope, that's all taken out. Here we, we have some more dromedary. And didn't we have like um, a turkey down here? Yes, egg progress 21%. That's pretty low. So that's obviously not something that's going to produce food very quickly. At least a little bit of research is being done. So that's slowly going up. That's nice. Now, this production is going up as well. Maybe what I need is a switch. That's when uh, during the day I can turn that off. Hmm, we could try power, power switch here. Yep, we'll do that. So these batteries have just been made. Uh, next power as well. Let's try a first solar panel. And then of course we need to connect that. like this and we can probably keep going here um, and put a second solar panel down here so there you go this is going to be a little power station again focusing on this farm and you guys built me a switch here lovely and so that means now power on note this only designates that a colonist should flick the switch. Nothing will actually happen until a colony comes and flicks the switch by hand. Okay, all right. Interesting, so you can't do that yourself. Um, oh, she's actually... Oh, she just grabbed some of that food. That's interesting. Quite unexpected. So we, we are running low on food. And she just basically ate some of this, I think. So that flick... That, that has been switched. This is still growing. And then at night, um, I, can, I can tell these guys to actually put that back on. So now, normally, all power is going to flow in the battery. Should be better. Work left. Still requires components. Do we have components? Aha, uh -huh, there's more to ha be had here. So we're actually going to um, start mining this bit. 
like that afterwards. Eighty seven percent, okay. Still needs more steel. Aha, uh -huh. Sparks can can uh, apparently s make stuff as well. Maybe he can mine too. That would be very nice, of course, to have three guys that can build and mine and be busy. Still haven't figured out how the monkey works. Can I right click? Cannot train April animal skill too low. All right. So there we go. Solar panel. And stored two. So this is going up now. That's uh, very nice once again. Um, we'll already build a, the... A raid! Holy... Alright. <laughs> a group of pirates from the Night Fists have arrived nearby. A group of pirates, they are attacking immediately. Jump to the location. Um, so it's just one guy. Let's see... Hmm. Can I draft her? We'll draft him as well. We'll draft her too. Let's see if, if they can if they can uh, like defend themselves or, or how that'll work. Really attack. Alright. Well he's attacking my monkey and uh, she should fire. Draft. That's my monkey dead, and but he's dead as well, right? An enemy has been incapacitated. You can capture him. Okay. Capture Martin. No reachable, unreserved, enclosed prisoner marked bed. Hmm. So we would need to build that first. Uh, can uh, can she kill him? Merely attack him to death. Let's let's just uh, get rid of him. Uh, we won't consume a human corpse. We won't do that. And now we can undraft them. So they can get back to doing whatever it is that they need to do. Uh, Donaldson seem to be wounded. But okay. First attack here. They also... A wooden club. Awful. And unfortunately... My monkey is dead. What can I do with the monkey? Prioritize cleaning blood of April. Oh, so he's doing what he's doing. She's cleaning as well. Okay. All right. Interesting. <laughs> so Donaldson is wounded. Go help him. Um, can we go for health? Blood loss. Trivial. Um, so he should be all right if he sleeps it off a little bit. I uh, was not able to like this um, get like a medical bed going or something like that. Let's see furniture, low food. One colonist idle. Colonist needs treatment, uh, which means that we will need. Let me see here. Unowned. How did that work? Zone? Nope. Sleeping spot. Animal sleeping animal bed. No, nope, that's not what we need either. Miscellaneous. Nope. All right, at least. Research finished stone cutting. Build stone cutting tables which allow you to refine rock chunks into stone blocks that can be used for construction. So Donaldson is going to bed now. Trying to sleep off the wounds he's got. Um, and... Not sure what he's doing here. But we should be able to reach her, her something next. Honestly, we'll go for a big one because I'm still worried about my food. We'll just go straight for hydroponics. Hopefully we can then make some other stuff that is uh, is secure indoors so go like that um let's see what's next nope we can't capture him anymore because he's being killed she's working on that research which is lovely now we have 
land that's actually trying to heal Donaldson. So that's uh, good. You can keep doing that. And this energy is still going up. I need someone to flick this switch. So that... Oh. That's weird. That is really weird because... Um, oh, I see what's happening. I think it's because this connection goes straight to the lamp and so it doesn't go into the battery first. That's a problem which we'll need to fix. So we'll need to deconstruct that and then we'll need to power reconstruct that. I think that's going to work. We'll, we'll leave this be for now. I think an extra day of uh, having extra power in there won't be a big deal. He's healing. Good. Now, of course, the power is off. But once they make this, then we sh That's weird. It's actually connecting straight to the battery already. Instead of to the switch. Hmm. I think this switch is not going to do anything anymore. But we'll see. Hopefully this is uh, fixed now. Maybe I should put the switch here. We'll, we'll see that later. No, this is definitely going to be wrong, right? So we'll, dis we'll already deconstruct that one as well. And then I guess we will... Uh, let's see here. Architects. Switch. This one goes straight to the battery. Which is a problem. Because then I would... And I can't really put a switch anywhere there. So, yeah, it's it's useless. So this is not the right way to put up uh, the system. Gardener is fully healed. All right, that's good. He rested and has been healed. In the meantime, Spark is also helping with the research. As a cook, maybe he knows a lot about hydroponics. So that's, that's pretty awesome to see. And uh, yeah, you bring that stuff back. Then get to mining. Get to sleeping. And tomorrow morning is going to be interesting food-wise, I think. I mean, this is grown at 96% now. So we'll just wait for them to finish, go to sleep. Monkey named April bonded to Donaldson has died. It will affect his mood. Okay. Poor Donaldson. He won't be happy. We have struck uranium ore. Okay. That sounds like it has some potential. But uh, not yet if we look at the size of my colony here. So am I going to start building a second house? Maybe later. Here for, for more sleeping opportunities. Um, we still have one bed to fill anyway. So we'll wait if someone else arrives. Then we've got... Let me see here. Yeah, food, right? The food is going to be our next challenge. So let's speed this up. What's Donaldson doing? Is he going to go out at night to work? Looks like it. Potato plant still going. Yeah, Donaldson is so sad about the loss of his monkey that he's actually going to work through the night. But let's wait for these guys to... Uh, to wake up again and hopefully we can find out what they'll do with the food now we have struck compacted machinery understood ah he's going back to sleep a little bit late but all right and sparks is awake so we could tell him to <laughs> To eat the corpse but we're not gonna do that uh, yeah what I wonder maybe I'll need graves I saw that somewhere miscellaneous grave hmm. so where are we gonna build a grave here maybe here let's build two graves maybe they can put the body in there low food starvation diva she is starving 
Yeah. I don't know. Potatoes should be almost ready. But... Uh, she just grabbed the corpse. Sparks is making a grave. So hopefully they'll put the corpse in there. Don't, don't tell me that Diva is planning to eat that raider. That would be pretty bad. So now that power is going up as well. Oh, where is she going? I'm not sure. Nope, she's actually gonna put the dead body inside the grave. So that's another mechanic learned. That's good. Not sure what uh, Sparks is doing here for cleanup. T Ty, the Marine, is dead. Okay. And now this 99%. Does it get to 100? Do they make food out of that? I sure as hell hope so. Otherwise, we may be doomed. Because we've got no food. Ready to harvest. So now I need to tell people to harvest that, maybe. Uh, harvests. Harvests. Yeah, more stuff getting ready to harvest here. So let's start doing that. Harvests. Harvests. Let's hope that they can turn that into food. 99%. 98%. Ready. Good. So, come on, you guys. Get to the food production. And they're eating it right away. Uncooked. Not sure if that's a good idea. Come on, diva. Grab those potatoes and get to eating. So I'm not sure if I actually have to give manual commands for all of this. We'll just let them do. No, it looks it actually looks like I was a bit fast. They'll do this on their own once it's fully grown. Okay, that's interesting. Now, here he's building some reserves. So we have potatoes are coming out. Then they'll be replanting that normally. All right, all right. First food cycle, first rate. Uh, but it's good to see that they are actively working on this. And so next we'll try to turn this into yet another farm. This time with solar panels. You can inspect the impressiveness, etc, etc. Not really have that much interest in that at the moment but everyone is working hard on food which is what we needed trader from ports mesa is approaching let's uh, jump to oh oh my god that looks like an impressive caravan of animals and pets what is this a megatherium no idea what that is they've got several iguanas dromedary um so they've got a oh my god that's actually a pretty impressive caravan here Poor mood. So now, now the problems are starting to increase. But at least they've got food, right? I mean, we just solved the food problems. How the hell are they in a bad mood now? So you guys get to storing that. Hopefully they can also maybe start cooking some of the potatoes. That would probably make sense. Uh, but this is slightly fixed. What would solve their mood? Hmm. If only I knew that. Furniture. Alright. Looks like they're doing a little bit better now. Yes, that is solved. And then we would have to give... Man, look at that. Look at these traders coming in here. So we've got a taster, we've got a teacher, a paramedic. An engineer and a recruiter. Hopefully it doesn't steal anyone from us. Um, but that is pretty cool. This is obviously something you don't see in Banished. Which is what I'm comparing uh, Rimworld to at the moment mostly. Um, so can we ask her maybe? Trade with, uh, with her? Let's see what she's got. Ooh. 
granite animal sleeping box plasteel animal sleeping box got some jade in there as well which i don't know plasteel as well pigskin cloth alpaca meat gazelle squirrel meat chocolate as well we will be able to make chocolate at some point we could we could buy squirrels and iguanas but i don't think we're gonna do that and so we could sell wood i think let's let's try to do a very small trade let's try to sell positive number negative number sell yeah can i see how much value that has so steel is worth 56 cents and berries costs a dollar 32 so we could try selling three steel for one berry does that work let's press accept and here the berries were dropped okay and uh, does she have a weapon yeah she's got the knife does he has, he's got a pistol so everybody has a weapon all right let's uh, put that in storage And maybe the berries can also make him a little bit more happy. That would be nice, I guess. Um, final thing we'll do. Whoop, let's see. Because was it something was all right? Something was in the red, but okay. And um, more food to be grabbed, which could become a good trade material. I mean, potatoes are made pretty easily and extensively. These guys will help with protecting us as well at the moment. So final part here we'll uh, obviously need to make uh where was it a sun lamp aha so you can see when it's actually managing its connection so that's too far but that's okay so we'll build one here and you know we'll build one here and we'll start with that uh, so then again architect zone growing zone think that'll be mostly in range like that and uh, this should be possible as well uh, but again no switch so if there's waste then there's waste so let's quickly have donaldson build this that uh, works right away awesome and in the meantime, our food production is going up just in time. We now actually have quite a bit of food. It's only potatoes, so we'll need to try to diversify that, I'm sure. But all right, uh, that's going to be it for this video, guys. We've had visitors good and bad. Um, looks like our food worries are over and we are starting to try and create a second farm. After that, I think it's more about research, planning out what I want to... Uh, focus on next i still have a lot to learn about the game but uh, it's definitely a lot of fun so far so that's going to be it for this video guys thank you very much for watching and i'll see you all next time